Hey guys, Piyush here from Technopedia and today we are going to review the Eclipse V9 ROM for our Galaxy Note 2. The installation instructions are same as other ROMs. Just make sure you have root and an Android backup before installing this ROM. Okay, so let's get started with the ROM review. Okay, let's turn on the phone. Here is our boot animation, which is same as on the S7 or Note 7 also. That's really cool. The nice thing about this ROM is that boot time doesn't take so long. It boots very quickly. As you can see, we are on the lock screen already. So let's jump into the settings first. about device okay here we go the Android version which we get is KitKat 4.4.4 and the ROM version is Eclipse V9 as you can see one second let me just focus okay so here is our Eclipse V9 ROM now let's try the dialer app first As you can see it hasn't changed much from the V8. This ROM is a bit laggy I would say. It doesn't perform as V8 so that's really disappointing. Let's try to call someone. Okay, the first bug we noticed is the caller ID. We don't get any caller ID. Okay, as you can see, now we are getting the secret menu. So, as you can see, how much lag was there. Rest, all the things work fine in the dialer. We can record the audio directly, as you can see. Here is the keypad speaker also works, you can mute, okay, here are some more settings about the dialer, okay that's nice, let's just exit the secret menu, let's try to check some other app, Here is our messaging app, it hasn't changed much. Here is our browser. It's also same as V8 room. That's okay. In terms of the UI, it hasn't changed much. We just have some redesigned icons. For the app as you can see the phone icon and the gallery icon has been changed here is our gallery the top icons are still blue in color which were same in the v8 also we can edit the pictures also that's nice The camera works fine in this room. There are no issues with the camera. As you can see, the shutter speed is also very quick. Okay, that's nice. Here is our music app. It's also similar to the V8. No issues with the music player app. That's nice. This ROM is not very snappy as compared to the V8. I hope we will get a fix soon and we will let you know about that. Here is the video app. Okay, that's fine.
here is our clock okay and it's the calculator app okay that works fine let's try some other settings as you can see the icons have been redesigned in the settings app we get a new icon so many new icons okay the battery is average on this room it's almost similar to the v8 as you can see here are the additional options for power saving mode upsm is also supported let's try it it's turning on the UPSM mode this is really helpful to save the battery okay as you can see it will last for about 9.6 days on 77 percentage of battery that's awesome we can add few apps also but that's very limited here are the settings which we get in the UPSM mode we can add these three apps and remove them as well okay let's turn it off this room could have been much better than the v8 but it doesn't seems like it now let's try the s pen okay so the s pen works fine try once again okay as you guys can see this room is not that fast the S pen performs fine I don't know why it's not working let's try something else Okay, we will see it later on. Here is our S Memo. Let's keep it as pen mode only. As you can see, fingers are not working here, but the S Pen will. As you can see, the S Pen is working great for the S Memo. Now let's on double tapping the home button we get the S voice. Okay. So that's nice. S voice is very helpful sometimes. Okay, the S voice works fine. No problem. Oops. As you can see the action memo has opened now. After trying for about almost three times I would say. So that wasn't nice. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, here is our file manager. The icons are redesigned, rest all the things are same here also. The app drawer is fine. Here is our Agni control. There are so many options to play with in the Agni kernel. It's 
asking for the root access okay so we are in the admin control now as you can see so many options are available for us but setting the wrong values can make the device laggy also so we have left it on the default okay that's nice with the Agni kernel app here are our folders in the app drawer we can choose the different different colors for each folder the other bug in this room is the inaccurate Wi-Fi signal this Wi-Fi is very far away from the phone but as you can see it's showing the full network okay now it shows the correct network so as you can see how slow it was this bug was also present in v7 and v8 room okay so we are connected to a geo hotspot so let's try the speedtest.net okay so let's do a speed test quickly okay as you can see the speed for the internet is pretty cool we are getting about almost uh, 19 mbps and the upload speed is around 10 mbps i would say let's see the accurate results okay the upload speed was 9.45 mb so that was nice now let's try something else the notification panel is really customizable it's very customizable let's try as you can see we can rearrange the buttons according to our priority are all the buttons which are available for the notification panel we can customize it very well so that was nice as you can see all the icons are available here now in the format we arranged it in. The app drawer transitions are same. Let's check them. Okay, here is the flipboard briefing option. We can turn it off and on. So that's nice. Let's try to change the wallpaper. We get the S7 wallpapers in this room. That's really nice. Let's try to apply it. Okay, as you can see, it looks fantastic. else we have got in the wallpaper we still have the uh, white text bug in this room themes also work fine in this room but for extra themes we need to install them manually via zip or any other apk form we don't have any download button in the theme store so that's okay okay so here are our device options we get the power off airplane mode and restart we also get the advanced reboot options as you can see that was nice okay let's turn the phone off Okay, so have a look at the bugs which we noticed. The first bug was the no caller ID as we seen in this video. The other one was the white text on the white background which is which was same on the V8 also. And the third one was no download button for themes. Fourth, the ROM is not very snappy guys. It's uh, 
very laggy sometimes and i would say it's becoming more laggy on day to day usage the fifth one was the inaccurate wifi signal as we also discussed it in the video rest all the things uh, are fine with this dome but that's not very cool okay so that was it for this room guys this room wasn't very tempting for us and it keeps on becoming laggy day by day we were using it from about 5 uh, days so we weren't amazed much we hope we would get a fix soon and we will let you know about that so thanks for watching guys please don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you